Want to hear a fun story? Sure. I went to have my yearly physical, and I don't remember what brought it up, but my doctor said to me, well, you're entering perimenopause, which for the gents is like there's menopause, but then for like five years before you hit menopause, you're in like warm up for menopause. So you don't have it yet, but some weird stuff's going to start to happen. Like you're getting ready. So your menopause is like in the pitcher's bullpen. Right. Like you're, it's, it's throwing, it's getting ready to come out. And like, I have, I have never wanted children. I'm not really using this uterus for anything, but at the same time being told that like, it's getting ready to die. (laughs) (laughs) Parts of you are just starting to shut down. It's a little upsetting. And, like, and so your uterus getting really mad and ripping all the wallpaper down. It's just like, it's I'm just like, gonna go out of business. And I don't really, I'm not dying to use it, but at the same time, just being told that like it's, some of your parts are just. It's kind of like when they shut down the Toys R Us, you know? Yeah, you like felt warranty. bad. <laughs> Warranties out. You felt bad because there's no more Toys R Us. You never went to Toys R Us. Yeah. You weren't ever going to go, but you felt bad because there's no more Toys R Us. It's the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, and that's when I was like, oh, my God, I am no longer in the process of life where my body is developing. I'm in the process where it's starting to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I probably should have done something with myself by now. Yeah. Well, in the midst of being sick, some some things happen. I've I've been sitting out in the room with the sunlight. Sunlight <laughs> is good. Which is an interesting way of putting it. I've been sitting in the place where we have the light in the house while I've been, you know, just resting. And Loki has taken it upon himself to pile his toys. <laughs> I've seen where, these where pictures. They're so cute. He's, he's piling his toys where I've been laying down. And just bringing me more and more of them as I've been sick. He's like, here, maybe this one will help. This always <laughs> makes me feel better. Here you <laughs> go. Here, here's, here's the thing. You chew on this, you feel good. You're okay. You chew the rope. It's, I like the rope you chew. So he's just bringing me what all his toys. That's, that's, that's what he knows. He's like, this makes me happy. Mm. Maybe this. And look at him. He's like, how about the penguin? I love the penguin. Do you love the penguin? <sighs> Sometimes Symbol will bring us his baby. I've told you before about his Chewbacca mouse that yeah. is his baby. Sometimes he'll bring that and drop it next to me when I'm asleep or something. And uh, Sarah had an interesting weekend working at the pet, uh, the, the animal hospital. Um, a breeder brought in not one, but two litters of golden retrievers. She had a shots. bucket of puppies. A grand total of 18 golden retrievers. And yeah, he, he, buckets of puppies. Fucking bucket, bucket. Th- 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 she's like, th- she's just like a life goal right there. Yeah. Look at them. I, I, I work with kittens all summer, but like a literal bucket of puppies, that's just, that's, that's a good day. They, they brought in 18 puppies to get their shots. At the same time. Hello, puppies. Hello, we are here to make you happy. They have no idea what's going on. They're just like, I am a dog. Are you a dog? I'm a dog. We're dogs. I have a dog. They're so happy. Gold retrievers are the best ones, too. Labradors, gold retrievers, they're they're just big, doofy things. If I were to have a dog, I would want a pit bull. Pit bulls get a bad rap, but really, like, every pit bull I have ever met is the biggest doofus. They just want to, like, flap their ears around and be loved and show you their belly and be ridiculous. And they don't have super long hair because this house is already covered in cat hair and my hair because I shed more than the cats. So that's a plus. Short haired dog is a plus. But I just think they're cute and they get they, they get a bad rap, but they're, like... I have met several pit bulls that are just big, dumb dorks that want love. And their paws are kind of too big for their body. And... All right. Well, now it is time for the nonsense. Let's get back. Let's do a thing. 
Can't we actually do a thing? Let's get this going. I thought we were just here to BS. No. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week is... All right, this first one is... I don't even know how to classify this one. Because this we we've we've gotten to this point in I didn't put the big picture up, I don't care. Um We've gotten to this weird point with our technology that we don't know what the hell we're doing. Um no. in that socially We don't and, know what the hell it's doing. We don't know how to interact with we have brands interacting with us, we have your fucking moms on Facebook, all of this crazy shit. So how do you, this, this, this girl, bless her heart. This is where there's a will, there's a way. Um, this popped up over the internet over the weekend. This girl named Dorothy, um, her mom took her phone. So she couldn't tweet anymore. Except she could. <laughs> um... Resourceful teenager has taken the rise of the powerful smart home devices to its logical conclusion, tweeting from the family's smart fridge after her mother confiscated her phone. The 15-year-old Ariana Grande, Grande fan known only as Dorothy, barred from using her phone, but managed to find a number of innovative ways to reach her thousands of followers. So first off, after her mom took her phone, she got out her Nintendo 3DS... And started tweeting from there. She got her Wii, uh, Wii U, because after the mom took the the the, the, the freaking is the 3DS. Wii still, hmm? Is the Wii still a thing? No. Okay. No, it's it's affected. She went into like storage. Yeah. So she she got the Wii U out. It was tweeting. She was like making screen caps in Minecraft in the freaking video game to tweet to the freaking mom took care of that so finally she figured out I don't know if this is going to tweet I am talking to my fridge what the heck my mom confiscated all my electronics again so she figured out how to get the LG smart fridge to tweet for her but it gets even better yeah, it does. Um, because then Twitter itself stepped in and started oh, joining. Her say why she was on a tech ban? Why? She, why was she on a tech ban? Let's put that. Let's go back to that. Dorothy, who declined to share her last name, says her mother disciplined her two weeks ago after she got too distracted while cooking and caused a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would take your phone away too. <sighs> But uh, after the saga went viral with more than 12,000 retweets, Twitter itself stepped in and joined the calls for Dorothy to be returned to the internet, tweeting hashtag free Dorothy. Okay. Twitter, back your ass up. Yeah. Um, her you mom. the last <clears throat> organization that should be parenting anybody's kids, okay? No shit. What are you doing getting in the middle of a mom and her kid? The fuck you Please think you're doing, someone... Twitter? Please tell me the mom started a hashtag surrender, Dorothy. Because I would. This is just one of those. So we start off your kid is frantically going around the house tweeting from every goddamn device. Think about being a fucking parent. <laughs> When we were kids, they were like, all right, you lost the TV. And there was one TV in the house. So that was pretty fucking easy to police. <clears throat> You lost your phone privileges. Well, the phone was attached to the goddamn wall. Right. So it was pretty easy to police. Now, all right, I'm taking your phone away. That's fine. Every fucking appliance in the house is connected to the internet. <laughs> I can say, Alexa, where did mom hide my phone? And it'll probably <laughs> know. Like, you can't. You, you fucking can't <clears throat> with these kids anymore. What are you supposed to do? Lock them in a panic room? Slide some food under the door, like I... build a Faraday cage around yeah. their room. 
Like next, we're gonna put be putting like little EMP collars on kids. <laughs> no, you're on a tech ban. <laughs> Damn it! And now, and not only that, not only are you it's trying to in this uterus, you guys, it's too hard. Not only are you trying to discipline your fucking kid, now the fucking social media network is just getting on your shit. Right now, you have Twitter up your ass. Fucking what the fuck is going on? Fuck you, Jack. Go on another ju- juice fast for forty days or something. <laughs> Ugh. Go go actually deal with some Nazis instead of this kid who set the kitchen on fire. Oh well, now now shit's all right, got another one. This this week is just weird. None we of have... my nieces and nephews are old enough for Twitter yet. Well, I have one that's twenty one, but like none of them are on Twitter, and I really r- worry about the day they get Twitter because they're gonna find Aunt Tara and be like, oh. We, we've got some, no, we, we, sometimes our, our stories aren't really so much as crazy or awful or horrible as just really goddamn weird. We've got a couple of those this week. This is officially really goddamn weird. I don't know what to do with this one. Remember a while back we had that story about just randomly old televisions were turning up on people's porches? Yeah. <laughs> Shit gets weirder. We're down another level. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Man wearing TV on head. Caught on camera leaving old TVs on Virginia front porches. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find a picture here. Yeah, here, here he is. This ain't, oh no, this certainly isn't creepy at all. What the dick is going on here, pray tell. Black Mirror season whatever. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. Better find out who's naughty or nice. TV head is coming to. This is like, what the hell? I just got past the fucking ad. Like, yeah, that's... Look at this. Oh, yeah. I saw this. I actually tweeted this out. That's creepy as fuck. Right? Residents living in a Virginia neighborhood woke up to find free televisions on their doorsteps. Sounds like a great gift until you see the older box sets left at the homes. No need to adjust the dial. Uh, Doorbell surveillance cameras captured the man with a TV set over his head, laying an older set down on someone's front porch, and just walking off. Bizarre discovery happened Sunday morning in Henrico's Hampshire uh, neighborhood. Outdated boxes were found at more than 50 homes. So this wasn't just the dude went up to one person's house and dropped off a TV set. 50 houses. And like, those aren't easy to dispose. Like, basically, he's going here. You throw this away. Because <laughs> current cable won't even hook up to those. Uh, and they're not easy to dispose of. Like, you can't just throw a TV in the trash. It's full of dangerous shit. 50 <laughs> houses. Where who, did he get them all? Who does this? Well, I can tell you where you get them. You get them at Goodwill. Because <laughs> Goodwill has them, like, wall to wall promise you if any of those people plug in those tvs it's gonna play a video like the one from the ring and over the course of seven days their head is gonna turn into a tv and this guy will finally be freed of his curse because they'll have to do it just just, how much time do you have on your hands this is like american gods season three this is the fucking old gods how much time do you have on your hands to hollow out a goddamn television set, put it on your head, and then drive around a neighborhood for hours putting old television sets on people's lawns? And even hollowed out, they're heavy. Yeah. No, this is definitely some kind of fucking curse. Like, he pissed off the wrong Radio Shack clerk. <laughs> 
and this is it until somebody plugs in the TV and picks up the curse from him. I, I am not opposed to people doing weird, weird, whimsical shit for fun. That's cool. You know, that happens sometime and I'm down with that. This is, this makes me feel unsafe. Okay. That there's someone just stalking my neighborhood with televisions. That's a little weird. I mean, like, we have a raccoon that comes up on the front porch every night because I leave out cat food. And that makes the cats really mad. Yeah, we've named him Rocket. We have a pet feral raccoon now. Um, Simba hates him. But, like... No, this, you know, if you need a hobby, look, guitars are nice. I have to do that. Yeah. That's my hobby. Needlepoint. Needlepoint's cool. Yeah. Could try whittling. Yeah, you could, like, join, like, a beach volleyball team. Right. You don't put a damn TV on your head and fucking freak out your fucking neighbors. You could join a, a vintage tech club if that's your interest. No, don't put it on your head. Don't you put it on your head. Don't you put it on your head. Yeah. What? What in God's <laughs> good name? What, what is wrong with you, son? I just of all the things you could be doing. Yeah, like what happened here? <clears throat> and he's totally covered up. There's like no identifying characteristics. Like he has blue tape over any logos on his shirt, on his jacket. Yeah. Gloves, head covered, like that I mean it could be a woman under there for all we know. For all we know. Oh, next up, all right. There is nothing The only thing worse than assaulting someone is faking a report for being assaulted. I don't know if that's the only thing worse. It's pretty bad though. It's pretty bad. I think there's a lot of things worse. Because you make it harder for other people who get assaulted. <laughs> Yeah. That's a shitty fucking thing to do. Here's a shitty fucking... And not even... Not only faking it, but... Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Um, New Hampshire woman said her neighbor assaulted her, but the blood was fake and the black eyes were makeup. Oh, honey. <sighs> Manchester, New Hampshire woman called police Monday night to report that her neighbor had assaulted her, but... Oh, God. When officers investigated, they found a tube of vampire blood, usually used for Halloween costumes. They're they're gonna they're gonna find out. Christine Benoit, twenty, is facing charges of giving police a false report and falsifying physical evidence. Police were called to the scene uh, around 9.40 p.m. There, they spoke with Benoit, who said her neighbor had broken down her door, punched, and scratched her. Police said Benoit had black eyes, plus scratches on her arms and legs. Her shirt had red stains on it. She told officers the assault had caused her the black eyes and also her nose to bleed. In the home, officers found what they initially thought was blood in the kitchen, living room, and bathroom, plus a coffee table out of place and a broken plate. But after looking at the red fluid on a paper towel and on the floor, police figured out it wasn't blood. They also found the tube of vampire blood. Determined Benoit's eyes had makeup around them. What? Probably should have hidden that. Probably just... All right, number one, even if you didn't... Even if they didn't find the tube, it's not blood. Yeah, blood doesn't dry red. No. They're going to blood does. They're going to find they. They're cops. They've seen blood. Yeah. It's... And I, like I can do a pre pretty convincing black eye with makeup. I gave an ex boyfriend a black eye for a Halloween party once, and like when I put it on Facebook, people were like, "Jesus Christ, what happened to him?" I'm like, "It's all eyeshadow. It's fine." But a moment of sweating, or like. Or like a washcloth. This, this, so, so, and, and apparently did, this is a thing. I guess we have to tell people this. Um, if you lie to the police. That's illegal. That's a crime. And they yeah. don't like it when you do that. They don't go, ha that's a good one. No. No, no, 
they're they, they're not. This wasn't even a good one. This was like really. Yeah. You think? I would kind of be sitting there going, Jesus, lady, you think we're this fucking stupid? No, he, really. The trouble of wrecking her place. Right. Like she knocked over the coffee table and broke stuff. At that point, you have to commit. And you have to take a ball peen hammer to your face. You want to sell it, you got to commit. She said she got scratched. It's not that hard to scratch yourself. I don't really know even what I'm advocating here, but (laughs) just commit to your lie. Oh my God. Just what? I feel, I, I feel bad for the guy who had to live next door to this shit. I know, the neighbor. He's like, what now? I, good God. But you do this, this is how people end up, like, this cry wolf shit. I hate this. Right, this is why people that this really happens to don't get believed. (sighs) Thanks, bitch. All right, so were you here, or I think it was, I forget, you were Luke. Um... I think it was last time we had a story where dude was pulled over with cocaine under his nose. I was there for that one. He said it wasn't his. Not my cocaine. Well, we, we have the, we have the inevitable escalation of that one this week. I, I don't. Woman says meth in vagina. Woman found with meth in vagina claims it isn't hers. Fun story. Dan found that Dan, a friend of Dan sent him this story specifically for the show and was like blown away. And Dan was like, oh, they get stories like this all the time. And he's like, this happened more than once. And I'm like, oh, this is a regular feature. I was yeah. like, tell him about all the guns we found up vaginas. His friend was very upset. Yeah. Police in Louisiana say they found meth. Hmm? He has not seen the things we've seen. They found meth when they did a body cavity search on a woman who claimed the drug wasn't hers and she didn't know how it got there. Really? Really? Was this like the virgin bird? Was it like the immaculate conception only it's meth? I promise you, if there's something inside my vagina, I fucking know how it got there. It's you can't sneak something into someone's vagina. <laughs> it's not like a magic trick. It's not a thing. It's not like it's not like sneaking something into someone's pocket. You can sound like sleight of labia here. You can't. It's not no. a pocket. <laughs> Even getting stuff that's supposed to be in there in there, not always easy. Uh, the Washita Parish, uh, the Washita Parish Sheriff's Office says 23 year old. That's the pronunciation. It was very nice of them. Uh, says 23 year old Ashley Rowland of Galliano was arrested on July 31st on a felony theft charge, possession of controlled substance, after a man she'd been staying with for about a week complained she took about 5,000 off his dresser and left. Authorities say a female correctional officer found 6,000. $233, along with a clear plastic bag of roughly one gram of methamphetamine in Roland's vagina. Roland's Wait, was the money that up there? That is not a thing you put money in. Was the money up there too? Yes. Or that poor sentence construction? No, the money was there too. Wow. This is why the people that handle your food should not be working the register. <laughs> you want someone making your burger after they handle this chick's vagina money? You do not. <laughs> It's oh. on sanitary. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> Roland said it wasn't hers, and she didn't know where it came from. But space? I want, I want a vagina that just spontaneously grows money. <laughs> oh my God, there's six thousand dollars in your vagina, really? <laughs> something. I don't know where that came from. Like, I want to ejaculate money out of my vagina. That sounds great. That is, I mean, if, if it's like, what does this happen often? It's like, oh shit, there's meth in my cooch again. Damn it. Third time this week. 
what we're what we're what we're not aware of is that her vagina is actually like the other side of a teleportation device someone's invented. <laughs> so you can transport anything you want, but it's gonna wind up in her vagina. It's like being John Malkovich, only really yeah. weird. Exactly. Yeah. So like you good news is you can transport that mess across the state line and nobody will know. The bad news is it's gonna wind up in her vagina. Uh. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to her about it. Uh, well, let, let's get back on our regular footing with the next one. <coughs> it's Florida. <coughs> it's Walmart. Here we go. Florida man drives golf cart into Walmart, tries to hit shoppers before hitting cash register. Do you know what's sad is that's the most benign thing that's happened in a Walmart in the last yeah. two weeks. Like, a lot of people would take this these days. Florida man is facing charges for allegedly driving a golf cart through the front doors of a Walmart super center on Thursday, hitting several shoppers, they're fine, before crashing into a cashier register. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office told Fox 13 deputies received reports of a uh, disorderly man who was blocking entry to a liquor store with his golf cart near a Walmart. Man reportedly demanded to speak with a manager, refused to leave the front of the liquor store. <coughs> I have never in my life ever needed to speak to the manager of a liquor store. <laughs> ever. Never, ever. Because I don't you know. Work at a liquor store. Did anyone ever want to talk to the manager? Yeah. Dan worked at a liquor store when he wasn't old enough to drink. I was sixteen. That Hi, might Simba. be why. Do you hear this? Do you hear these pathetic um, noises? Yeah. Um, if you <laughs> if you were sixteen working at a liquor store, that might be why they wanted to speak to a manager. <laughs> <laughs> Simba, what's in there? Hey, I knew where I was supposed to hide when liquor control came in. He's just sitting next to Dan making the saddest noises. He gets very upset when we're both in here and no one's paying attention to him. No, at my local liquor store, there's like normally four people at the counter and it's the entire family that owns the liquor store. If I want to speak to the manager, it's like, yo, hi, how you doing? Okay, dad. Right here. Hey. Hi. Is it because you want to be on the internet? Uh-oh. Is that why you're making sad boy sounds at us? Say hi, internet. Oh, he did not think this through. Oh, oh God, damn it. All right. I want to go. regret. <laughs> when Hillsboro deputies arrived, uh, they, they tried talking with Michael Hudson, 56, outside the store. But moments later, he suddenly took off in the golf cart, driving through a crowded pedestrian area and front entrance, forcing customers to run out of the way to avoid being hit. Off, deputies ordered Hudson to stop, but he continued to speed through the supermarket, hitting the front glass doors until he eventually crashed into a cash register. All right. The cops just talked to you. And you had to try to make a, get, make a, make a run for it. And you decided to do Fast and Furious Golf Cart Edition? Yeah. Of all the places you could have gone. Now, I, my dad had a golf cart. They can get up pretty quick. You've been on a golf. They can get up pretty, you know, like 20, 30 miles an hour. I've actually never been on a golf cart. They can... Unless the things at the Javits Center count as golf carts? Yeah. Okay, so yes, I have. They can truck. Um, but it normally helps if you go in an open direction. Now, if you're in a Walmart, you have two options. That way is the, car, is the parking lot. Big open area full of uh, asphalt. You can kick some, you know, get some speed going. The cops have to scramble to go after you. You've got a head start. Or into the Walmart. Which, which is, is going to be full of people. A bit more problematic. Also, where are you going to leave? Yeah. What's your, what's your plan of egress? Because this, I, my Walmart has two doors. There's one at the pharmacy. And there's one at the uh, food side, and that's it. That's how you're getting in. That's how you're getting out. Where did he get a golf cart anyway? Oh, see, in Florida. Yeah. Well, you got a story here. Old people 
who live in like pre-planned communities get around those communities with the use of golf carts because they're small enough that you don't really need a car per se but if you're old you don't want to walk everywhere so they use golf carts they also use their golf carts we learned through a friend of his that lives in florida that they hang color-coded loofahs off the golf carts <sighs> to denote their particular you love telling people this so that when they have their old people swingers parties, they know that like Myrtle and George are into water sports, but June and Ward, not so much. But yeah, old people in golf carts are in Florida, it's a thing. I don't see a loofah on this one. Maybe this is his fetish. I don't think there's a color for that. Getting tackled by security? That's probably a fetish, really. I mean, all he, at the most at this point, all the cops would have said was, sir, you need to leave. Yeah. That's, Until that's, he said to fuck up the Walmart. That's where he was at. Sir, you need to leave and take your golf cart. He hadn't done anything. And then, into the Walmart, that's the point where, nope, now you can't leave because you're coming with us. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, you can steal golf carts in Grand Theft Auto. Well, good to know. That's. I don't know why you would. And this last story of we're we're back to just straight up weird. I'm I would completely lose my mind if this fucking happened to me. I think everybody, I think everyone watching this would have. You are not prepared. None of you are prepared for this. This this is. None, none of you, you are not prepared. Charlotte couple learns out why not, learns why not to go to the bathroom in a thunderstorm. Their toilet exploded <gasps> when lightning struck the septic tank. You realize you said you would lose your shit if it happened to you. <laughs> none of you are prepared for this. Okay. This is not one of those things you go through life like, well, this is going to happen one day, so you better buckle down and be ready for the day the toilet explodes. Glo Danny Glover is prepared for this. <laughs> but he's far too old for this shit. <laughs> I haven't even seen that movie. Oh. But I know that happens. Mary Lou Ward said she, her husband, and her three dogs, who are going to be traumatized from now until the end of time, yeah, were laying in bed at their Gulf Cove home, listening to the rain and thunder, when they were blown out of bed. We got out of bed and came over here, and the toilet was laying on the floor. A1 Affordable Plumbing, the company that helped clean up the mess, said lightning struck near the home septic tank. That, combined with the methane gas in the poop, caused a bomb-like effect that traveled through the pipes, exploding the toilet in their master bedroom. You are not prepared for this. None of you. This is a thing. No one told you life was going to be this no. way. When I was a kid, my dad was obsessed with us not being on the phone during a thunderstorm. <laughs> Because he read an Ann Landers column that someone was on the phone and the lightning traveled through the phone line and into their brain and they died. So we couldn't be on the phone <clears> if it was even raining. But it's in fact he possible. Didn't know about this. Your toilet, you could be taking a shit in the thunderstorm and die because your toilet exploded. You could be in the next room and your toilet could come and kill you. They were like, we have a bathroom attached to our bedroom. Toilet could just come and kill you in your sleep. It would. Did you know what horror was lurking in your home? Find out tonight. He just says you died suddenly. <laughs> With no further detail. How, you got to just look at the confluence of events that had to come together piece by piece to result in the goddamn toilet exploding. That is, that, that is, is this, will this ever happen again in the history of mankind? That feels like 
that feels like some Wrath of God shit. <laughs> like that feels like that feels like the warning shot to a smiting. <laughs> Like next time it's you, Zeke. I don't know this 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 book of. Ju- <laughs> we are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> this this is like a very weird book of Job reboot. Yeah. I don't remember this part. You know, I remember, I remember the plagues. I remember his family. I don't remember God making his god to fucking toilet explode. Well, I don't think Job had a toilet. I don't think indoor plumbing was a thing at that point in history. No. If you he could have, he would have. This is just one of you could die of no fault of your own. Just one day you're in your house and the toilet explodes. Yeah. That's a thing that can happen. That's a whole new thing to be terrified of. I mean, I'm, I have an electric stove, so my stove's not going to explode. And we don't have gas in the house, so there's nothing to explode here. But on one day, I, my toilet might just blow the fuck up. I was not told this was an option. No. I was not informed that this could I happen. I didn't need one more completely irrational thing to be worried about. I didn't. But thanks. We don't have a septic tank, you're fine. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, no, but if if you do have a large enough methane pocket in the sewer... Well, Well, thanks for ruining that little bit of solace. (laughs) The first thing we learned this week... This week... Your fucking toilet could explode and kill you. Yeah. That's not even... That's not even hyperbole... That's an actual thing that fucking actually happened. So, like, eat less Taco Bell. They are so lucky they aren't dead, because toilets are not light. No! That is some, I mean, the fucking shrapnel from this goddamn thing. But I was just about to say, like, there's going to be porcelain shrapnel. Let's see. Because, yeah, I mean, it's a better picture right here real quick. It's not going to be clean shrapnel. No, look, so that wound is going to be insta-infected. Look at that. Look at the fucking... Like, there's like fist-sized chunks of porcelain going on there. Um. So yeah, we've learned that's a thing that can happen in your life. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've learned if given the option, take the straightaway, don't duck into the fucking Walmart. Yeah. Not, not a, that not... only works on foot. Does it, though? You want to disappear into the crowd? Golf cart's not going to help you in the Walmart. We've learned that if, if someone, fi- if they find random meth in your vagina, and you say it's not yours, it is now. I mean... Yeah. You... Possession is nine-tenths. That, that, they're not Internal. taking... Internal possession, I would say, is probably ten tenths. They're not taking that back, even with a receipt. No, no, not that. I mean, bad. you know what? I'm not actually going to agree with that because Spencer's, like, yeah, yeah. There are people on the internet buying gamer chicks bath water. <sighs> there are definitely some tweakers that would do the vagina math and pay <laughs> extra for it. We've learned if you can't even convincingly, <laughs> she was aging. Maybe. Vagina aged. (laughs) Give it a little extra musk. We've learned if you're not competent enough to convincingly stage a crime scene, maybe don't try to fake a crime. Yeah. Just toilet paper your neighbor's house like a normal person. um, We've learned that some people really need hobbies that don't involve freaking other people the fuck out. Yeah. Most or of us don't put a fucking TV head. on our heads. That's not a normal thing to do, dude. It's not. That's not. That's not a normal thing to do. It's like this far from a fucking fetish. <clears throat> and finally, we've learned 
parenting in the digital age is a lot trickier than it was when we were kids. Like, you've already lost. You've lost, yeah. Ten years from now, your kid's going to have a chip in their head, and they'll just hook up to the internet by blinking. And what the fuck are you going to do then? Nothing. You know what? I'm, I, I'm just now thinking. I'm thinking we actually have had time travelers. No, real. No, no. Stop me. Because someone probably came back from the future and said, hey, people are tweeting off of refrigerators to the interwebs. And they got put in an insane asylum. 